thank you, Aarti, for my humble introduction. And it always uh, feels good coming to your institution and working with Ranjit Singh and Subhrash Anayal, ma'am. I think all veterans here. I have a little knowledge, whatever knowledge I'll try to share from my experience, <clears throat> being in field of psychology for two decades, more than two decades. And this topic, uh, what ma'am was talking and I was listening in between, there was technical issue, but I was listening to it. And this is a very important social issue. I was looking uh, in the context of SDG goals as well. And we are catering to inequalities when you are looking at the acceptability point. You know? So if you see uh, in the SDG goal number 10, reduced inequality. And then 16 is peace, justice, and strong institutions. And third is, which uh, my institution promotes, well-being and health of overall individual. As a psychologist, the health of an institution, health of an individual is very important for societal growth. When we talk about social acceptability of acid attacks, which we are talking, there is a trauma. But do we require face to face the challenges? My question to all of you. Do we only require face to face the challenges? As I was reading up from uh, Lakshmi, the acid uh, survivor, in the story about her, you know, I think I am motivated by her. So why we? always see the physical appearance of people and make an indicators of acceptability. As a psychologist, let me tell you, personality is inner and outer. It's not only physical experience. Sometimes you see people, physical experience, you get influenced. When you go closer to them, you find that they are not as per your mark or as per your standard, which you are thinking or which you are feeling as per values you were drawing from, the inspiration you were drawing from that personality. So it's very important to understand that when we talk about acceptability and personality, it's, it's highly correlated. High acceptability, whether personality is, uh, appearance is good or bad, or inner quality is good or bad, which one is more? I think we need to study that. Correlation is there, but whether we have studied it, what Madam was talking about, I really agree, 100%. That what, is those, what are those qualities? And which you see many survivors, they have made growth in trauma. And that is what the concept of, pose, I keep on talking on positivity and I, I will do it till the last breath of my life, that positivity is, is something which can change change the perception, change the perspective, and change the context, and change the humans who can bring revolution. If they, if, they, if they can't evolve, they can't bring revolution. So revolution has to be brought through inner understanding that this is what I think we are looking forward in the personality. And acceptability in a personality is not only the physical appearance. Now, Debate comes here when I see in psychology, we are taught about personality, but I always throw a debate and also I think we have audience here as a student and, a, and a different uh, college university students or participants or faculty. We need to raise a question in front of students, which is more important, self or personality? Why do you only go by Western theories? I'm a psychologist. I have taught this paper and I'm, my whole tenure in my academia was talking on personality and emotions. So I can go on talking, but I have to leave it as per the time. Personality is bigger or self is bigger. Can you write on the chat box? Which is bigger concept? Let me hear from you all. Personality or self? I'm raising a debate in front of you. Answer me. Or anybody, Arti, wants to come in and answer on video or on this call we can uh, kindly raise your hand who or like 
which is bigger concept personality or self self good i think somebody from your institution has i want people from i myself have applied yeah. why couldn't i take part in this self self very good good come on come on good i'm getting answers i have not given what is the right answer can we get more few more yes who says personality i want i would like to hear from them anybody who is saying personality shubhra ma'am because this is a workshop we need to be interactive one way communication will not be effective in our deliberation मैम आपका वो आई थिंक आई एम ट्राइंग यू म्यूट पार्टिसिपेंट्स प्लीज टॉक आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट ओनली वन वे कॉन्फ्रेंस व्हिच वी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्री कॉन्फ्रेंस सो प्री कॉन्फ्रेंस वर्कशॉप मींस वी नीड टू टॉक एंड दिस इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम एंड मेजर स्टिग्मा इन आवर सोसाइटी आई थिंक सेल्फ समबडी टॉक्ड ऑन सेल्फ सो आई थिंक वी इन our inner understanding we know somebody said personality good i think some contrary points i have got to good i hope uh, student is not from psychology background so what is the correct answer what is the correct answer correct answer is self is bigger than personality self is bigger than personality i am happy that we have enlightened participants you know i congratulate uh, forensic institute sif that you have got enlightened and target audience is they really want to understand and do something in this regard so i'm very happy i congratulate all of you who have answered me i i want to raise a question the person who has said personality or mostly people understand personality even i if i start a debate on in this context in this topic in psychology class mostly students will say personality but this is where we need to understand personality is a product of conditioning this is this is a definition i have learned and i have made my definition as per my learning and experiences in that context and also if you see the western context we all are product of conditioning there is if and but do's and don'ts you know so personality whether it is inner or external we grow up with some conditioning all the time and this conditioning leads to stigma also and prejudices also which we are talking right now on the topic of why we are not accepting why we are not inclusive society when we talk of sustainable development goal we need to be inclusive society reduce inequalities where we are we need to measure ourselves and there is a i think research if i see less there is hardly any research which can talk about in this context and there there should be research is done in this area so coming to the point which i was raising whether personality or self if self is bigger then there should be no stigma attached to whatever trauma we go through in life simple answer but still we face this problem because our society our conditioning our prejudices our biases our stereotypes that is something which stops us to include people who are different from us but let me tell you when we talk about psychology in psychology definition of personality a great psychologist Howard from Howard he mentioned that personality is has a unique pattern of behavior unique pattern of behavior we are alpot weight psychologist gordon or alpot has given this day we are dynamic organization and we are we have unique pattern of behavior so we all are individual in our own self we can't be compared with others 
but we keep on doing every time and that's that's where we see the problem of conflict problem of uh, violence in society within the family also when parents compare their child the sibling rivalry doesn't come like this you know it it, it is it is shown very early in their mind when children are growing it, it is because of their developmental experiences which they have gone through and whenever they have to give something they to their uh, elder sister or brother or younger sister or brother they give with heavy heart you know they have not learned with giving with happiness you know they become a sacrifice goat like that i am a martyr you know i have sacrificed something so that is how the sibling jealousy sibling rivalry develops early in the mind of child so it's very important to to develop to nurture a personality with understanding of self that self is bigger than personality why i'm saying so because we get confused because of the social agents of socialization process in our in our society in our country we go by family we go by society we go by culture and we forget the inner which somebody wrote consciousness how to develop that consciousness and indian heritage talks about indian system talks about indian systems of knowledge if you see we have i think humongous kind of knowledge in this area but how we are using it so self is bigger than personality and that is why in our culture we say aham brahmasi i am part of universe so where this face and body comes you are a dot you know so why we get so 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 much trouble with the appearance your identity is important in the context of your work your value system your contribution to the society and when these trauma traumatic behavior when we see in this context i know it is very very difficult to face but when you see that something has happened you have to challenge it this is a this has become a threat for a life for a person but whole society comes against but where you have to have that support system but uh, if you see support is not there there is always people left alone there there is people talking negative about that incidents that something wrong was done by girl or because of her or relationship why she indulged in, into that kind of relationship i think whatever it is at that time you need a support to help so that person accepts himself first the self acceptance is so poor and that that is something which shakes the personality which shakes the foundation of personality let me tell you when we develop personality you are giving some value system but something happens to a person x y z he is shaken but but if he has a strong value system still he holds that have you seen there was i think uh, a uh, major earthquake which which struck in gujarat we all remember that i think 26th january and it was such a i think there I, hardly we found any house every everything was devastated but still two three buildings were standing straight you know why they all uh, i think engineers and scientists they looked at it they gave the comment that the foundation was very strong so my dear participants my dear colleagues our foundation needs to be strong that anything wrong goes you should not be shaken but rather you shake others that should be the attitude we need to build in ourselves and also the acceptability where i see as a psychologist is first from yourself you know when we face some kind of problems even normal people or whatever i think they have not gone through trauma they also have some kinds of shock shocking uh, i think incident every time in their life you know so they can't say that uh, now they can't function they have to function we all are personality if our personality is not functional we become uh, unhealthy we become negative and there is lot of mental uh, issues and mental problems in a person so why we go to that extent my my question and my submission to all of you is first the trauma survivor need to accept themselves and the support system you have to be uh, as a family 
or as a society, as a community, as an NGO, we need to provide that not only social support system, but emotional support system. And that is where we lack. Even family neglects, rejects. And at that time, if somebody is emotionally available for that person, for that person I think a lot of things is taken care of. And that's where the role of psychologist and uh, social scientist and social worker and then family, if they are there, it helps to make that person build again that, yes, I accept myself. Now I have to fight this injustice. And, and this is not only his or her problem. It is the problem of society because of injustice has done. And as SDG goal, we are going to achieve as the UN mandate 2030. We need to question whether we are going to achieve or not in our country. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. I don't know. I'm raising a question in, front, in all young minds that how do we do that? That we uh, get peace and justice. You know? First, we need to see whether I, I am finding myself to fight this justice or not. You just do not report some, I think also reports are saying that the reported acid attacks are less compared to what a number of incidents which has happened. So that's also alarming point for us as a scientist and a researcher to look at and do research and get insight of those people. And my idea is that we should get testimony more. Dr. Sanyal ma'am, my idea is that we should get testimony of these survivors and also bring the brightest picture as we hear about Lakshmi. You know? So we can bring those uh, uh, success stories and narratives which can motivate people. And, and they should include them, not exclude. Inclusion is, is key to success. And inclusion is key to success and progress of any country. You know? The whole world is talking of inclusivity. There is a scale developed on inclusivity. Are we doing that in our culture? We don't include people. Forget about trauma, trauma, acid attack, trauma, personality, but compared to those personality, even normal people, there are so many problems in a society. We are ruled by prejudices and biases and we don't include people. You know? And we say our India is known for diversity. Diversity doesn't mean that you only accept from different cultures. Diversity means any, anything. You know? People are diverse in nature. I, I, I always say, in a, as a psychologist, my thinking is, that we all are diverse in our thinking and in our approach, in our behavior. So why not, we, when we have a team, we need to accept everybody. As we are working in a team, whether Dr. Sanyal, whether Aarti, Rajit Singh, myself, we are not sitting together. But we are all diverse in our own way, but we are coming together and doing something good for society. It's not that somebody has said, no, you should do it. It's our call. Because we, we think as a responsible citizen that Somebody should take a call and take an action. It's a clarion call if you ask me that we need to do something. And it should not only be the seminar and conferences. We have to have an action plan. And this research can be in the form of, as a psychologist, we do it. It is like social action research, action research. It can be named as an action research project. And we help people, we see the changes, and we document, and then we report. So this will really be a... Uh, changing uh, cornerstone for our uh, uh, programs which we are doing from our uh, centers and institutions which will help many people to change their at least thinking and perception towards this acid attack survivors. And I would like to remind you that uh, if you have heard of Padmashri Shobhna Narayanji, I know her and I always go to her functions and uh, dance performance. And I will share with you, RP and your institution when next it comes. It was amazing to see, and that uh, video I was telling you, it's not been uploaded. I checked with her. So I, I would like you, if moment I get that video of her dance performance on acid attack, that was on Roop with Roop. And uh, such a wonderful performance she gave in Habitat in Delhi. Amazing. I, as a psychologist, I knew it, but the, when I saw this performance, I think it's a common people call that people can understand easily. These conferences and seminars, we will do it for elite and enlightened people. 
but for common people those those dance performance and drama will help and theater will help more to understand the problems which we are facing for acid acid attack survivors that was a real story of kanpu acid attack survivor and she performed and there was a story narrator and there was a music so all three combination was such a wonderful i think performance and message was that that your self is bigger than your face and your personality which we keep on talking in psychology so she said ki tu bada hai tera chehra nahi bada hai tu bada hai unka message ye tha ki aap bade ho aapka main bada hai ये शक्ल तो खत्म हो जाएगा वो मैं रह जाएगा अगर मैं के साथ मैंने कुछ किया तो ये ये हमें समझने वाली बात है कि व्हाई वी लिमिट आर सेल्स थ्रू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ पर्सनालिटी दैट इज अ फिजिकल अपीयरेंस एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट पर्सनालिटी इज नॉट ओनली एक्सटर्नल इट इज इंटरनल एंड व्हेन यू आर पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ वैल्यूज यू हैव हाई इंटरनल लोकस ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड वेन यू हैव लो वैल्यूज दैट दैट शोज दैट पर्सन इज हाई एंड एक्सटर्नल लोकस ऑफ कंट्रोल बिकॉज पर्सन पर्सन गोज बाय द अप्रूवल्स एंड एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ अदर्स बिफोर ही एक्सेप्ट हिमसेल्फ यू नो ही ओनली लुक्स फॉर द अप्रूवल सो आई डोंट थिंक द सर्वाइवर्स आर लुकिंग फॉर अप्रूवल फ्रॉम सोसाइटी फर्स्ट आई थिंक फ्रॉम ट्रॉमा एंड फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम दे आर गोइंग थ्रू वी नीड टू मेक दम अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट दे नीड टू एक्सेप्ट and if they accept themselves as there are many examples like lakshmi we are talking about she is a real i think uh, role model for many and in in other fields also not only in this area there are fields where people are not uh, looked at with respect the tribal areas but still they are making their way now see our country where we are going the highest office we have in our country so i think we need to come out with those mindset that these people are like this a b c d they can't do this a b c d no it's a time that everybody has an equal opportunity we are inclusive society we are diverse society and that is enough to help us to accept ourselves and help people to accept the survivors from any trauma not only acid attack but any trauma we need to accept in holistically and in all parameters not only the physical experiences these physical appearances sorry physical appearances which based on their experience they also make it deteriorate because they feel that this is me they only think of their face or their body but beyond your face and body you are still your self you are still uh, atma soul which you need to protect and do something good for you yourself and for others in the vicinity wherever you are and help yourself to come out from that traumatic experience and if you are interested you must read all of you seligman's concept on ptg there is a post traumatic stress and disorder we all know ptsd but there is contrary to that he developed the concept post traumatic growth and there were researches after uttarakhand disaster which we have which we had seen last i think 2 3 years back and how the studies were done and it was found that many people had grown in that trauma also so we have to change the mindset first for ourselves and then the environment and then people will follow but if you are stuck at your own level self level then nothing can move nothing can change and secondly i told you the support system is very important and this is how the third important point, first for personality and self then the support system i talked about and third point i want to highlight this is how you develop your identity of yourself and this identity is bigger than your physical appearance as per psychology science researches i am telling you this need to be understood and it's evidenced in many researches that how your personality really becomes a part of it when you have an identity it's a minuscule part of it where you come for what you are doesn't matter it is your work it is your 
kind of uh, inspiration you are giving to people from your kind of uh, movement you are doing whether it is for traumatic growth or whether it is survivor whether it is uh, for any any issue you have taken in your life to do so so it's very important that we have a total acceptability for self then people will accept and we need to think of traumatic growth there are success stories and based on this we can as formulate only workshops doesn't help in that manner we need to have understanding that how we can change those people those who are still struggling we are talking right now we are discussing deliberating but there are people who are still struggling to make their identity can we help them so this is where i come to the point that let's together do a action research and involve students involve faculty researchers phd scholars and do something positive and let's let's wait for that positive outcome when every survivor says no i i am equal to you i have nothing uh, that i am discriminated in any sense wherever i go in society we, if with that confidence people start moving then i think we see that yes social acceptability is there and we all know if even in a normal situation when we we are not accepted in any community how do we feel just think over it and if you are not uh, in your community in your friend circle if somebody rejects you feel so frustrated are aise kaise kar diya how dare they do this you know so this is very important to think ye choti si baat thi inclusion in a group was rejected you felt so bad so imagine about a person who has gone through this trauma what kind of feeling of frustration he or she must be having so this is very important that feeling of equality gives equanimity in the mind of people and the surrounding environment where you are and that's how the ecosystem is positive and progressive otherwise it is negative demeaning and there is no progress and if you know that uh, mahatma gandhi stated a very important line progress can only happen when peace is there when harmony is there when there is harmony there is progress so if we want to bring progress and acceptability for survivors we have to see how to create harmony within within themselves and with others and with the whole world and that is how we can reduce this inequalities and problems with them and help them and help people in the environment to help them grow and this is how society will grow with this i think i am uh, done with my point which i wanted for the social acceptability factor